Hey, hey, hey guys, it's your girl Yvonne Michelle and I'm here today talking about how to build unstoppable confidence so that you can achieve every goal, not just one or some goals, but every goal. So the first tip is, for me, is the number one thing, stop setting unrealistic goals. Stop, just stop. You don't need to do that. I think what we've do, we've got into such a, a, a sense of, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to set that goal, I've got to set that goal, I've got to make it so big. Now, I'm not saying not to have big goals because we all have big goals, I have big goals, but the the crooks of it, the 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 way that in which you achieve those big goals is to make them into very, very small bite-sized chunks. So when you go to a restaurant, and you order a steak, the steak comes out, and the steak could be this big. You don't put the whole steak in your mouth. You don't. You take a knife and you cut it up into pieces that you can manage, that you can chew on, and that you can digest, and it goes into your system, right? And this is the same thing with our goals. Our goals can be huge, but what we need to do is reverse engineer it. So we start where the end, start at the end, what the end result is, and work your way backwards. How many steps is it going to take to achieve that goal? How many steps? And then if it's 10 steps, you might think, right, I can do that in 10 steps. But I want you to go back and look at that, the formation of the steps that you're setting for your goal. And then it might be 15 steps. It might be 20. There is nothing wrong with it. We're taking your time. In today's society, we're very quick to pinks, pinks. We like the microwave thing. We want everything really quickly. But sometimes it's not about the quickness. It's about learning the art of the process that you're going through. And so break that down into bite-sized, achievable chunks, and then celebrate each time you win. So this is the one that the first thing, this is the first thing. So you're going to reverse engineer it. You're going to start with the end in mind, reverse engineer it. And you are going to make a list of every single step. The second thing you're going to do is practice. I always, I come back to this all the time. In anything that you want to do, in anything that you want to do better, it's going to take practice. And that might mean getting in front of the mirror and practicing your art. If you are a speaker and you struggle with confidence, this is one of the number one things that you need to do is to get in front of a mirror and start to practice. Get your talk together and practice it. See what you look like. Record yourself while you're in the mirror. So set the mirror in front of you and set the recorder to be looking at you. So you're, you're seeing yourself as you are performing. Because if you are a speaker, you know, whether it's a motivational speaker, whether you're speaking for your business, whether you're, you know, you, you're telling your story, at the end of the day, you are a performer. And you're, the best way of you engaging your prospects is to practice. Because if you know what you look like, then you will know what they're seeing. Every facial movement that you make, that you, you will see that as you practice. So number two is practice. And that leads to number three. Number three is simply gratitude. Be grateful for where you are and be grateful for where you're not. And in all of that, just know that the learnings are going to help you to grow, evolve and thrive. And that's it. Gratitude. Be grateful for everything around you. Be grateful for your wins. Be grateful for your failures, because it's your failures that are going to help to propel you to where you want to be. It's not, it's not when you win, when you win, you feel good. But when you feel like you've lost something, that's when you really, really learn. And that is a win learn. So it's never really a win fail. It's either a win win or a win learn. So I want you to go away now and think about how you can become more confident in what you do. Putting those three principles in, setting your realistic goals, not making them so big they're unachievable, your hand can't even reach it. Number two, practice, practice, practice. And number three is live a life of gratitude and see 
that the abundance that will follow you. So if you are interested in becoming more confident, if you want to learn how to become a confident speaker on live and virtual stages, click the link attached to this and join my free training, Speaking Made Easy. This is your girl Yvonne Michelle. I'll be back another time with more inspiration, empowerment and motivation. Ciao for now. Ciao, ciao.